Hi guys, Renee Pizzana, Acting My Age. If you're new to the channel, welcome, and please hit subscribe and come back every Wednesday for new videos. Today, I'm excited to welcome actor, writer, director, producer, Sean Christian. You probably know him best from his stint on Days of Our Lives as the sexy doctor, Daniel Jonas. I am so excited to welcome Sean Christian. Thank you, Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for that and the uh, the introduction of the blood orange drink. I blood orange that. hint. Yeah, let me get in just a They're second. They're not our sponsors, but we drink them. They were way after this. They should be our sponsors. We're going to we're going to we're going to hit them up. Get it? Ha. Stay with me, people. Stay All with right, me. All right, I get it. I get it. I want to know about you. Where are you from? I am originally from Michigan. Oh. Uh, all my family and friends are still there. My buddies are all still there. My close close buddies are there. I had gone from Michigan to Chicago and studied as an actor there. Got not, I mean, I actually got my degree in marketing in Michigan, left the next day to pursue acting. Good for you. So I told my dad, I said, uh, probably about a month, I met with agents a month before I graduated, and I said, Dad, you know what, I'm going to go pursue what I love to do. But where I come from, uh, nobody says, oh, you know, you can do it to make a living. You can be an actor. You can be huge. You can make a lot of money. That doesn't happen where I come from. So after talking with my dad, completely uh, working class family, he's like, well, you're going to what? And how are you going to pay for all these student loans? And, and I just said, oh, we'll figure it out. Took a bar job for about three months. It's no disrespect to those who are doing the bar thing. You've got to do what it takes to survive. But what I was doing in Chicago was working at a bar, you know, of course, till two in the morning, Cleaning up till three, partying till six, and pissing your way, you know, pissing your day away. And I'm like, this, no, I can't, this, I can't do that. So I didn't have the discipline at that age. So I said, you know what? I'm going to make myself make a living at this profession. Um, and took classes with a variety of different coaches, a variety of different styles, try to find my own voice and all of that. And for me, it turned out to be improv, where I was like, oh, wait, I can actually speak with my own truth. And put my inject my own. I think I was becoming very technical. You know, you can spend a lot of time with um, acting coaches who are wonderful, but eventually you've got to answer that call yourself. Is what I for me is what I discovered. Yeah. Because um, I was looking to too many different coaches for the answers. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Chicago, I've never met a person who was an actor in Chicago who wasn't brilliant. It is the, if I had to say, what is it about a Chicago actor, it makes, uh, I'd have to say, the work ethic. Nice. You have to do the work. There's no other thing. And I think the greatest advice I had gotten early on in my career from uh, Jane Brody, my acting coach, uh, and I was, you know, you work on your scenes, and you're supposed to meet with your scene partners at their place in their apartment, and, <laughs> and, and I was running around trying to make money and trying to act and learn, and she goes, let me say, let's sit down. Because if you want to be a motherfucking pretty boy, then you go do that. <laughs> but if you want to act, you work on that. Mm -hmm. You can make that decision right now. That's great. And I was like, I want to be an actor. I'm going to shit about the pretty boy stuff. Um, it, it, greatest wake up call for me very early on. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Thank you, Jane Brody. Hey, shout out. <laughs> so listen, I know you from Summerland. Hold it right there. You have a home, and there's plenty of room in it. Johnny, that's crazy. Why? Because these are children, not chihuahuas. Yes, very good. That was a, I, I used to kind of have a girl crush on Lori Loughlin, so I have this We all do. Don't we all have some form of crush on Aunt Becky? <laughs> yes. You know, course. I mean, come on. So She's amazing. That, but I would say that a lot of people know you from Days of Our Lives. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Dr. Dr. Jonas. Daniel Jonas. You said Jennifer pushed you down the stairs and killed your baby. You are lying, because you knew. <laughs> The baby was already dead. <laughs> so let me ask you about soap opera acting, because mm -hmm. I liken it to the Olympics of acting. Yeah, I think that's a pretty accurate statement. Yeah. I mean, you get, how much how much dialogue a day, would you say, when you're a lead character on one of those shows? Well, I'll just give you by comparison. So, for example, um, in film, you can do probably five to maybe eight pages a day. Television, 10 to 12, maybe, if you're cooking. Uh, in soap operas, you probably do 160 pages a day. Do you have to be Insane. word perfect? Do you get um, some, you're, you're kind of inhabiting that character after a while, so I would imagine that it kind of flows from you. 
There's some tricks. Uh, <laughs> good and bad, by the way. I mean, I think the biggest, the, the, it's two things. A lot of things about the soap, the soap world. I think there's some of the hardest working actors on the planet. For sure. It means the working class actor who just goes in, you do the work, you've got to deliver, hit your mark, get out of the light, say the lines, which sometimes are really not that plausible, um, and be as honest and sincere and authentic as you can in this uh, genre, which is very um, dramatic, if you will. Uh, and you learn, I mean, you know, people talk about, oh, do that tag look, I'm like, what the, do that thing, what? <laughs> what? I mean, first script, I was in New York, and I did um, As the World Turns, and, and everybody goes, you need to do that, you need to tag the scene, and I'm like, what does that mean, you don't, they don't teach you that in acting, James yeah. Brody wasn't going, you know what you need to do, is look at the camera and go, yes, <laughs> I'm fucking sexy, you know, the that, smoky look. yeah, whatever that thing is, right, <laughs> you know, it's this, oh, no. so you do learn how to think, the greatest thing is you learn how to think on your feet, mm -hmm. You learn how to, the technical stuff very quickly. It's like exponentially faster than any other genre that you need to kind of say these words that are kind of implausible, hit your mark, and you don't get another take. You're done. That's it. Moving on. But I, and I was a phys, I was a doc, Dr. Jonas, as you mentioned. Um, I played a doctor on, on Days of Our Lives. And so it's a lot of this technical, surgical type of cross for four, but <laughs> you have to get it like word perfect, right? To save somebody. And I saved everybody on that show yeah. except myself. Aww. Well, I can have a moment. Um, can you give me a tissue? Please. Now, I'm sure there'd be a script where I open my own chest cavity and, and saw it myself back to life. I mean, I literally did that for everybody else. Why couldn't I save myself? I don't know. You're decapitated because think, you put your head back on. I swear to you, I've solved diseases the CDC can't solve. I think people were like, I think Dr. Jones can actually save himself. Yeah. Right? Why be not? Episode. Um, so I remember going through all these monologues of like, you know, we got to save the patient, and it's very quick, and da 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 da. And, uh, all right, cut, print, we're good. I'm like, well, I think I, I think I attached the aorta to the femur bone. Are we, we're good. <laughs> we'll fix that in post. All right, we're moving on. Don't worry. Of course, then I'm going to sleep with my patient. Yes, of course. So, as soon as you say. Always. <laughs> what do you have coming up next? There's a few things on my plate, thankfully. Um, I just finished uh, filming the Ruby Herring Mysteries. Dad, what should I do? You need to follow that herring hunch. Why do you think I named you Ruby? I thought it was because of red hair. It happened so fast. It was a hallmark on their movie and mysteries channel, mm -hmm. which is a series. Um, so we're slated to do multiple films, great. which is great, pending the audience's enjoyment. So all you Rubies out there, get it on. Let's hear from you. Sold a script that we'll be filming in Hawaii in presumably... March for a May 5th release. Wow. Talk about, now, you know, the soap world's moving really quickly. Now the production schedules are moving quickly. So editors out there, God bless you all. Um, because they need this stuff in the can much faster than yeah. they ever used to. Absolutely. Um, and then there's a little other exciting project I might be talking to you about with this wonderful lady that I worked with before, Rick Hefe, I don't know if you heard of her. Oh, I know. Um, we did a little show called Addicts Anonymous together mm. years ago that I had produced and she was brilliant in. And um, we had a small little conversation about what she's cooking up now and I said I would be more than happy to collaborate with you. That's a great segue. Let's talk about Boo. Ooh. So Rebecca was nice enough to sit down and talk to me about Jackson Love and then what she has coming up, which is her new project, Boo, which Sean is going to executive produce. So I'm very excited to, to collaborate with Rebecca. I mean, I think she's very talented, hardworking. I mean, for me, once, once those combinations come together, if you've got a level of talent and a great work ethic, mm -hmm. you're kind and sincere, um, you have my attention. And she, she had me at Boo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm swooning I, behind the camera right now. I, I think that's the perfect uh, entr entrance for Rick Hefe. Yeah, yeah. Come over here she and take my me seat. Had me at boo. That should, yeah. have been our, that should be our tagline. You've been so, like available to me since we started talking about this like you're on top of it and you're like it, it's nice we have our um seed and spark campaign is is mid not midway it's pretty much just started yeah, um, week number one and just killing week it. one we're 44 percent funded and everybody's been so great to pledge money and we actually yes, have a new incentive that we're going to be offering yes right? yes we do what i'll be offering is i'm going to offer some phone calls messages Video messages. Video messages for if you have a if you want to send a message to somebody, 
happy birthday, happy holiday, happy Valentine's Day, or I just hate my job and tell your boss to kiss off. I'm sure we can come up with something very clever and funny. The short's going to be great. And yeah. it's so wonderful. And we appreciate all the contributions that have been coming in. So which much. Is fantastic. And, you know, to be clear, you're like, well, is it a contribution? Is it an investment? Is there an ROI in this right off the top? Right. Is it short? No, it's not a fiscal investment at this first stage, right. this first inception, but it is an investment in female filmmaking. Correct. Did Especially say, women in horror, which is a completely different. Completely movie. different. And you've yeah. nailed it and you've tapped into something that people haven't seen. It's definitely needed. Yeah. You as a director, you as a writer, the female producers on board. Um, that is worthy. That's it, I guess. <laughs> Woo! Uh, thank you, Renee, for having us. Thank you, Renee. Thank you. Thank you. There's people like this, people like you. Yes, exactly. Who are helping us get this thing off the ground. So much appreciated to all those who are busting their tail, working hard, who contributed, and are contributing. So um, thank you for coming along for the ride because it's going to be you who build this brand. So yes. I'm really excited about where we're at and where we're going. Do the go. tag, do the tag. Oh, wait, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. I'll, I'll zoom in as you wait, do that. Wait, you can do the tag, right? Okay. I don't know if I can do that. I think about, okay. Oh, okay. do I have to look at the camera? I do have to. Uh, I'm really excited about where we're going. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Also, if you want to help out Sean and Rakefin with their short film Boo, the Seed and Spark information is down below. Also, don't forget there's some pretty good incentives being offered. Do you recall Sean just said he was going to give a video message? That's it for this week. I'm Renee Pizzotta, acting my age. <laughs>